Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com and in this video we're going to be checking out the Black Star Amped 2 and talking about some cool ways to use the built-in chorus effect. Now chorus is an effect that a lot of guitar players don't utilize to its full potential, but it can be used for some really, really cool things. So in this video, I'm gonna share four of my favorite ways to use chorus with you guys. So all the tones you're gonna be hearing in this video are coming from the Blackstar Amped 2. This is running out of the XLR output on the rear of the unit using cab rig. So everything you hear is coming directly from this unit today. So the first thing I wanna show you is how to use chorus to get a shimmering clean tone. So let's say we've got a clean guitar part that goes something like this. If we use a chorus effect with that, with a slow time, and a kind of moderate to high depth, we can add a really nice shimmer to this. So I love this effect because when you pair it with clean guitar, it's very reminiscent of 1980s guitar tones, which is some of my favorite. Now, when we're doing this kind of thing, we don't want the time to be too high because that is the rate of the modulation effect. So the higher the speed, the more extreme the chorus effect is. So what we want is a slower speed. You could even go slower than what I've currently got this set. And I have got quite a lot of depth here because I do like this sound. I do like a very shimmery, chorusy clean tone, but you can dial this back if that's too extreme. So it's gonna sound like this. So adding some chorus to that makes your clean guitar part shimmer and add some movement to the tone. The second way you can use chorus is to fatten up an existing guitar tone. So if you've got a really chunky rock rhythm tone that you're using, you can use chorus to fatten and widen that tone. Now using chorus with a distorted tone actually gives the impression of double tracking. So it kind of gives you the idea that you've played two guitar parts at once. So let's say you're playing a riff like this. <laughs> If I add a really subtle coursing effect to that, it will give the impression that I've double tracked the guitar line. This is incredibly useful if you play guitar in a band on your own and you just want to make your rhythm track sound a little bit fatter. So to do this, you can see I've got the time and the depth very, very low. So they're basically inaudible as a chorusing effect. What we're gonna hear is just a slight thickening of the existing tone. The level, in this case, we can use as like a blend control. So I've got this kind of set just below halfway because I don't want too much of that double tracking effect blended in. I could lower that for less or I could increase it for a bit more if I wanted to. So here's how it sounds with the chorus. <laughs> So you can hear that tone is a little bit fatter and it does sound like there's two guitar parts playing at once there. As I said, that's a great trick to use if you're playing live in a single guitar band and you really wanna fatten out the rhythm tones. The third way you can use chorus is to add a real 80s vibe to your lead guitar tones. This is one of my favorite ways to use chorus. So if I'm playing a lead in a song and I'm using a standard overdriven tone with some reverb, it's gonna sound something like this. <laughs> If I want to give that a real 80s flavor, I can turn on my chorus. Now you'll see this time I've got some quite intense settings going on. So I've actually got the level control kicked up here because I do actually want a real audible chorusing effect. I've got the depth as far up as I can possibly go on this unit because once we get to the halfway point, it automatically switches to flanger mode. So I've basically got the depth on 10 there, as you can see, or as close to 10 as I can get it. And then the time I've got 
about a quarter of the way up. I don't want too much of a quick swirling chorus. I just want a slow chorus that does that slight doubling and detuning thing. So with the chorus, it sounds like this. <laughs> And the fourth chorus tip that I'm going to give you today is that you can use chorus to give you a kind of fake Leslie rotary speaker type effect. Now doing this will never ever completely replicate a real Leslie rotary speaker, but this is great if you're in a band mix and you need a Leslie tone for perhaps one passage of a song, and I use this myself all the time. What you can do is you can use a chorus to kind of simulate some of the nuances and subtleties that a Leslie speaker has. So for this, we want as much of the level as we can because we're basically completely blending this in. We need all of the chorus. The depth is, again, as far as it will go without going into the flanger mode on this pedal. And then the time, this is where we can come up with some different Leslie tones. So we can use the time control to give us a fast or slow rotary speed. So let's say I'm playing a clean part like this. <laughs> And I want to add a Leslie type vibe to that. Using these settings, it will give me this. Now, if I want, I can actually back the time off, and this will give me like a slightly slower Leslie speed. As I said, it's never going to be exactly like a real Leslie speaker, but in a pinch, it's pretty good. In the more extreme settings, you kind of get into some of those Soundgarden Black Hole Sun type sounds. But not as intense as a real Leslie speaker. So a real Leslie would give you much more of a pronounced effect, but this is a great way that if you're in a bit of a pinch and you need a Leslie type sound for something in a set, you could do this kind of thing. Maximum depth, maximum level, and then the time just to suit whatever it is you're wanting to do. You can actually tap tempo the speed on this as well. So if you're playing along with the drummer and you need to specifically tap in a set modulation speed, you can use the tap control for that as well. So there you go, there are four fun things you can do with your chorus effect on your Blackstar Amped 2. Chorus as an effect has kind of fallen out of favor with a lot of guitar players. Many people think it's a dated effect because it was heavily used in the 80s and early 90s. But like I've shown in this video, you can get some really great tones with this. Now, some of these tones are slightly dated. They do kind of take you back to some of those 80s heyday tones of the chorus pedal, but things like the ability to use it as a thickening tool for your rhythm tracks or as a fake Leslie are great things you could do if you're using something like the Amped 2 for gigging and you're on a real kind of scaled down rig you can quickly twist those knobs and get a couple of different tones there out of just the built-in chorus on this. Let me know down below in the comments how you guys are using chorus in your own rigs. I'd love to hear how you guys are implementing your built-in chorus effects from the Amped 2. Don't forget to check out Blackstar over on YouTube for more free videos just like this one. And if there's anything you'd like to see us talk about with the Amped 2, let us know down below in the comments. Don't forget to check out musicteacher.com if you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area. They have a network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.